Hang on to your sun hats because we're about to take a journey to some of the most bizarre places on Earth. Beaches. But not just any beaches. We're talking about the ones that have seen some seriously odd things wash up on their shores. Facts First presents Strangest Things That Washed Up on Beaches. Civil War Cannonballs It was a startling discovery on a South Carolina beach back in 2016 when 17 cannonballs from the Civil War era were found fused together washed ashore. Concerned about the potential danger, a local bomb squad was swiftly called to the scene to remove and destroy the relics. In spite of the potential risks, two of the cannonballs were carefully preserved and are now proudly displayed at Fort Moultrie, another military base in South Carolina. These historic artifacts serve as a reminder of a bygone era, a time when conflict and war were part of everyday life. It's incredible to think they've survived for so long, weathering the tests of time and retaining their significance. Fleet of Rubber Duckies a container ship carrying a whopping 28,800 Friendly Floaties brand children's toys, including the classic yellow rubber ducks, was hit by an enormous wave in 1992. The impact unleashed the bath toys into the vast expanse of the ocean, setting them on an adventure that would last decades. It took 10 months for the first batch to be discovered off the coast of Alaska. From then on, these rubber bath toys have been discovered in all corners of the world from Hong Kong to New England, even the UK. It's as if they've been on a wild and unpredictable journey, drifting through the vast open sea before finally finding their way to shore. Thousands of Tires In 2010, after a hurricane in North Carolina, an estimated 10,000 tires were observed on a beach. They were initially used as an artificial reef by the state's Division of Marine Fisheries to safeguard the shore several decades ago. However, according to Lewis Daniel, the director of marine fisheries, the state does not utilize them anymore, and the tires on the beach were the primary reason for discontinuing their use. Enormous Lego Man It was just another day at a beachside bar in 2012 when the employees spotted something peculiar bobbing in the sea. As they got closer, they realized it was a larger-than-life-sized Lego toy. Without wasting time, they fished it out of the water and examined it. Standing at an impressive 8 feet tall, the Lego man was a mystery waiting to be solved. But even after all this time, nobody knows exactly how it ended up in the ocean or where it came from. It remains a bizarre and fascinating enigma. Giant Dinosaur Fossil Imagine stumbling upon the remains of a creature that lived on the planet over 180 million years ago. That's exactly what professional fossil collector Tony Gill experienced when he uncovered the bones of a prehistoric fish lizard, or ichthyosaur, buried on the English coastline. This remarkable fossil spans a whopping 40 feet in length, with a skull measuring 7 feet alone. It's one of the largest ichthyosaur fossils ever discovered, and is now proudly displayed at Charmouth Fossils, alongside a fascinating collection of similar specimens unearthed from the nearby beach. Sailor Jellyfish Every year a spectacle takes place in the ocean as millions of by-the-wind sailor jellyfish embark on a journey that takes them from one feeding ground to another, thanks to the little sail on their backs that catches the wind and propels them forward. But when wind patterns shift with the seasons, enormous colonies of these jellies can find themselves stranded on the beach. And we're talking thousands sometimes, and other times it's millions. But why do some Valela Stranding events leave a larger impression than others? Well, a study published in March 2021 uncovered an interesting correlation between the magnitude of these events and record high ocean surface temperatures, which are caused by a phenomenon known as the blob. This warm patch in the Pacific Ocean provides a perfect breeding ground for Valela, resulting in much larger colonies at sea. Unfortunately, when the winds shift, these colossal congregations wash ashore, leaving millions of jelly carcasses littering the beaches. Sadly, this trend of massive die-offs will only continue as climate change continues to escalate in the years to come. Killer Whale Rescue In January 2021, a juvenile killer whale found itself in a precarious situation 
after being stranded on a beach in Scotland. Thankfully, a group of trained medics from the British Divers Marine Life Rescue and kind-hearted locals came to its rescue on Sand Day, a picturesque island off the coast of Scotland. The team quickly assessed the orca's health and determined it was fit enough to survive on its own. Using a specialized dolphin stretcher, they managed to get the 11-foot-long orca back onto its side and into deeper water. It was no small feat, requiring eight people to lift the whale and move it into sea. Once it was back in the water, the orca swam off into the distance. The entire rescue took just over an hour, but Chief BDMLR Area Coordinator Neve Webb credits the success of the mission to the team's newly acquired equipment and the assistance of the locals. Human Feet in Shoes Since 2007, close to two dozen human feet, still wearing sneakers, have been found on the coasts of the Salish Sea in both the U.S. and Canada. Initially, rumors circulated online about a possible serial killer on the loose, but these suspicions were soon debunked by doctors who uncovered a more tragic explanation. Scientists and medical professionals believe that the feet likely belonged to people involved in accidents or who died by taking their own lives. Though it's a grim reality, it's important to remember these discoveries provide crucial information to help families find closure. Dragon Skull Visitors to England's Jurassic Coast were in for a surprise when they stumbled upon a 40-foot dragon skull. This impressive sight would not look out of place in a fantasy movie, but it was actually an elaborate advertisement for the hit series Game of Thrones. The skull was crafted by a team of three skilled sculptors who spent over two months designing, constructing, and painting it. The Jurassic Coast is renowned for dinosaur fossils, making it the perfect location to capture the imaginations of locals and tourists alike. Ancient Walrus Bones As the last ice age drew to a close, melting ice revealed stunning landscapes that had long been buried beneath the sea. These newly uncovered beaches proved a treasure trove for archaeologists as they contained hundreds of age-old fossils that had been hidden away for millennia. Among the many remarkable discoveries was an ancient walrus skull found in Norway in 2012. Experts were amazed to find some of the bones were at least 10,000 years old, giving us a glimpse into a world existing long before humans walked the Earth. Massive Coral Knot at first glance, the knotted pile that washed up on a Texas beach may appear to be nothing more than a jumbled mess of yellow rope, but upon closer inspection, it turned out to be a vibrant species of coral known as a colorful sea whip. These sea whips derive their striking hues from colonies of soft-bodied coral polyps, which range from yellow to red, orange, purple, lavender, and violet. The discovery of this unusual coral was made by a National Park Service guide at the Padre Island National Seashore near the Gulf of Mexico. The guide posted an image of the partly buried rope ball on Facebook, where several commenters shared their own experiences seeing colorful sea whips on the beach. Interestingly, many had assumed these creatures were merely trash, like discarded cords or fishing nets. Submarine Residents of Hastings were stunned in 1919 when a German submarine washed up on their shores. The boat, SMU-118, had been lost in April of that year after its dragging hawser broke off while it was being towed. The appearance of the submarine on the beach was a remarkable sight that left the locals understandably awestruck. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever discovered anything crazy on a beach? Let us know in the comments section below.